What can I tell you about SQL Plus? Firstly, what we need to do is we need to connect SQL Plus to your database, either through a network connection or on the same machine that your server is on. The connection between SQL Plus and the Oracle database on the Oracle server consists of what's called a bequeath connection. In other words, it's direct from the server to the server. What I'm going to do is show you how to connect SQL Plus to your Oracle database across the network. It's fairly simple. First of all, open an Explorer. Now, what I've got on my machine is I have a client machine on 98 with the Oracle client installation, and I have a database server on another machine, much smaller machine, and I need to set what's called the TNS connection. There are a number of ways of connecting from a client machine to an Oracle database using Oracle networking software called SQLNet. We won't get into that since that is not really within the scope of this course. All I want to show you is how to actually connect your database and your client machine. Within your Oracle installation directory, I have mine on 5C, Oracle, 092. This is my client installation, of course. Network, admin. We're also going to assume that you have the listener set up correctly on the server if you don't talk to your administrator. There's a file in here called TNS Names, which is the local naming method. All it does is converts a network name to an IP address and or a network address, much like any DNS service does. So open this file up, and what I have here is a single network name called MG Server, which is the name of my database server across my network and this is how I connect it. I connect it using the protocol, which is TCP, a host name, which in my case, because I'm using a hub without a fixed IP address, I have to place the IP address in here. Generally, the first thing to try if you cannot get your network connection to work between SQL Plus, your client Oracle machine, and your database server is to change the name of the host for the IP address. The default port is 1521. Another useful fact about your network connection between your client machine, SQL Plus, and the database. A very easy way to test the connection to make sure it functions is to use a utility on of Oracle called TNS Ping. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ping the service name of the database. I should get a response. It says my response. At this stage, that's all you really need to know about connecting your database. If you have problems, you'll have to read the manuals and find out how to connect it properly. So how do we run our SQL Plus tool? On a Windows 98 Oracle personal installation, go to the Start button, click Programs, depending on how you've installed it, of course. This may vary. Oracle Home, Application Development, and SQL Plus. In my case, I have a username called Concepts in my database, a schema. Its password is also Concepts. And the name of my Oracle name or the name of my database is OK. There I connect to my database and on SQL Plus. What I'm going to do is just look at a couple of views. Let's say I want to see what tables I have in here. Select table name from user. I have table names. I have a table called act up here. Let's see what I have in the act table in terms of the structure. Describe act. There's the structure of my act table. Let's look at the contents of my act table. Select star, which is everything from act. Let's look at some more tables. Let's use the scroll bar and scroll back up and look at my list of tables. Say I want to look at all shows. So I'll select star one show. Lots of shows. Let's go and look at venues. Select star one venue. Now we have something interesting going on. Note how the information was wrapped. Some people like that. First thing I don't. This gets us on to formatting. It would be something very simple. Right now, set that off. 
so that's the same title again. So that's style, right. Brand new. Looks a lot better.